everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am joined here with my mum and today we are gonna be asking each other uncomfortable <laughs> questions. <laughs> As you can see we have got nando's here we're gonna be doing this like a mukbang and we're basically yeah just gonna be asking each other uncomfortable questions that we ask for on instagram and i'm not gonna lie you guys really went in with these questions like okay. everybody always goes in but some of these were just like oh my really? god really absolutely i mean i'll just show you and there's no okay. way i could answer any of but them yeah you so show me yeah i got this idea from jazz so i'm gonna leave her video down below i loved watching hers with her mum and i thought it was really really funny so that's why i wanted to do it so i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started i have the butterfly chicken which i always get medium with Beautiful. spicy rice and nacho peas what did and you get i got four boneless chicken oh, wings nice for you. and i got some halloumi cheese i got some mashed potato and peri peri salted chips mum's wrote her questions down i always do that on a notebook to be honest i was going to screenshot right but when i it mm. wouldn't it like oh, i can't even explain it it's just it e wouldn't screenshot it's just easier that's what you're trying to say yeah it's just easier to write it down or do you it? not know how to screenshot of course i know how to screenshot how do you screenshot and it should be quiet of course i know how to screenshot you don't have to screenshot do you then how do you think i do things if i don't ever screenshot <laughs> i don't know how do you screenshot you press the buttons on my phone honestly anna bookmark it oh god i hope i bought the right pad oh no that would be terrible wouldn't it god what do you write in these pads okay number one what happened on your girl's holiday with has but there's so much that happened to like what that's the question what happened on your girl's holiday with has so you can like don't obviously it's up to you what you want to yeah but i don't know what divulge. What, do, what do you want to know because what happened on your girl's holiday well, there's a lot that ha that's like that's the third time i've like, asked you that there's like we went to Cavos. I had a really good holiday. I don't think this is really what they want to know. Just <laughs> we had a lot of drinks, a lot of shots. There was this drink, and I can't remember exactly what it was called. Mm. I think it was called like Death by something. I don't know. And it had 13 shots in it. Oh of all different alcohol, 13 shots, no. and then a tiny little bit of cranberry juice, and you had to down it. How many of them did you have? Two. Wow. Well. And I've never in my life felt like that i honestly me and has were walking back and i was wobbling i literally could not stand up it 13 was shots in one drink in, and we had two of them and then we were doing tequila shots on the side well the next day i normally don't like feel sick at the next day like i normally just have a bit of a headache you messed up i thought i was gonna throw up everywhere did it last all day that feeling like half the day until we started drinking again yeah and then i was sat by the toilet reaching and has is pissing herself in the bathroom because she didn't feel that bad met some people People, had a few shots quite a lot of shots few drinks partied it was really fun have you ever done drugs no never done drugs you've never done a drug no ever never lies lies and more lies really see i just find that so hard to believe i'm really anti-drugs actually so you've never touched not even weed mm. Oh, here we go. When I was very, very young, I tried tried it. And all I remember was it just gave me the giggles. Um, I remember like being in this sleeping bag. I was like, I was thinking I was a glow worm at the time. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know what that is. But if people of my I age know, know what a glow worm is. is. And just really laughing and that was it. It didn't really do anything for me. Once I tried it and that's it. Never had any other drugs. Oh, you were a glow worm. Yeah, I'm very, very anti-drugs. Have you ever looked through my phone? Yeah. Have you? Uh, probably. Not that I remember. Oh, that's naughty. Not that I'm snorty not that i remember but i probably have like but when i haven't been in the room obviously maybe when i was i feel like i would have when i was younger like yeah i feel like you probably would have when you were younger yeah like looking for messages and stuff yeah you know what messages yeah. i'm looking for as well so i yeah. probably would have have you ever been through mine no never never been through your phone no don't even know your password have you been through my laptop no when did you lose your virginity i was 18 i think i've answered oh. this before i was 18 you you simple yeah. love it oh this is good i liked this one this was my favorite one kiss marry or kill freya Yep. Simon Cowell and Harvey. <laughs> Freya? Yeah, honestly, they put That's Freya. That's such a random I know, Freya, Simon people. Cowell or Harvey, kiss, marry or kill. That's oh, such... that was really funny. Really good one. Okay, well, obviously, I'm going to marry Freya because she's one of my best friends. Yeah. That goes without saying. Who are you going to kiss out of Simon Cowell and Harvey? I like Harvey, but I wouldn't want to kiss him. We're friends, but I, I also don't want to. <laughs> okay, well, I don't want to kill him, but then I also wouldn't want to kiss him. So... No, you got to say. Simon Cowell or Harvey? I'm gonna kill Harvey just oh. because. <laughs> no, just because I wouldn't kiss him. Like we're friends, but I wouldn't kiss him. Yeah. So. yeah. Sorry, Harvey. I'm gonna kill you. Um, and you're and gonna then kiss the cow. I'm gonna kiss the cow. Okay. I, I like Simon Cowell, you know. Not in that way, surely. 
No. No. But I do have a little soft spot. Really? Yeah, okay. I like him. I think he's I think he's fun. What's your first time story? We were all out in the town where I used to go out. I just met this guy and I really fancied him. Is really it a random him. guy? It's actually it's funny because I was only thinking about this the other day. <laughs> Why? I don't know, you just do, don't you, as you get older. And um he was a friend of my aunt's husband and um yeah, it happened and Who? Yeah. Aunt do? No. I really liked him and yeah, that's what happened. Funny, I was only thinking about that. Was it a one night stand? No, we did do it again. What's the worst advice I've ever given you? You give me sometimes really good advice, but you do give out bad advice a lot. Do you think? Yeah, because we God. have very different like mm. viewpoints on things. So one thing I really hate when you say is just spend it, it doesn't matter. Or just like, go and spend it. Look like at it. this, I'm not going to have a thought left in a minute. Look. You can. There you go, look. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, go on, Anna. You know, but you know where that comes from? Where? It comes from the fact that I nearly died once. Okay. That was... But that's where it comes from. Okay, that was quite deep, Mum. No, it wasn't. I was very close to death. Oh, well, Anna. I know. So that's where it comes from. I, li I tend to live for... I live for the day rather than two years down the line because none of us know. That's why I'm the way I am. Okay. But I live for the day too, but I'm just a lot more careful because I think about my future. I think, okay, well, if I... Of course, you now... still have to think about your future, but, I, you know, if you just want to buy something, you've got the money, just buy it. You know, don't look too deep into it. I'm like that. If something makes you happy, just do it. You don't give me very good advice about boys. You're I very... Think, no. I think that's where i think my advice is really good no boys. you're very quick to jump and just go no out of all the boys i've ever spoken to or wanted to bring round, yeah or mentioned yeah you rarely like any of them you're very like opinionated when it comes to me and boys it's only because i want the best for you yeah but i've had some really nice people and you're still like because i like to see you being track nice yeah me so too. if i don't feel that you are or i don't feel that they're they're treating you what you how you deserve to be treated then i've always said haven't i anna yeah, yeah. but even that's when that's all like, it's ever been even when someone treats me really nice you're still no that's rubbish anna credit where credit's due i've always said you know but a bit protective like that i guess i know what men and boys can be like okay well i think your advice can sometimes differ in those areas but other than that i don't think your advice is bad no overall hmm. have you ever slept with someone's boyfriend I said, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah. Why <laughs> would you do that? Because we all make mistakes. Interesting. Oh, this is good. I've got a question though. As usual, I need to open a window. <laughs> Can I open this window, Anna? Because this is spicy for some reason. It's really spicy. Because if I did that, you'd go ballistic at me. Yeah, but it doesn't mean just because I've done something, it doesn't mean I'd want to watch my children do the same things. So if you realise, if you look back on something you've done and you realise you made a mistake, then if your child makes the same mistake, you're not going to say, yeah, go on, make the same mistake. Out of the people you've slept with, who's been the worst in bed? I thought that was really funny. Pardon me. Not funny, but good one. <laughs> <laughs> Bear in mind, they're all watching. Hello. <laughs> And Diana probably watching with their partners, <laughs> even more uncomfortable. <laughs> None of them, uh, oh, well, actually, some of them have. Yeah, their exactly. Partners. So, yeah, I just thought it was yeah a bit uncomfortable question, wasn't it? Are you feeling um, uncomfy in your seat? You are, aren't you? And answer. that's what it, the video is called. Oh God, I don't know if I can answer. Have yeah, you finished? No, oh. you say this to me every time. <laughs> Literally stop eating my food for 10 seconds and every time I'm like you better not finish if you finish and I'm like no I'm just literally looking up <laughs> but Atticus will sit there with a the plate full and he'll go oh my darling go watch TV <laughs> and I'm like why are you telling me I don't know if I can answer that obviously I can't make it am I Anna? I'm really struggling with this little thing look <laughs> I know who is the worst but I actually don't know if I can say no well say it then you can beep it give you time to think about it you can beep it can't you oh. if you feel that you must beep it um, which obviously I think you probably will I have to beep it I can't yeah. was definitely the worst Oh god. I think you do need to beat that, Anna, to be fair. That'll cause a bit of um, ill feeling. Really? Hmm. No, I don't think any guy wants to hear that either. I want to ask you the same. Who was the worst in bed out of you who you slept with? Was that one of the questions? No, so it's not. Then no. So I'll, you've got... I'll swap one out. Oh god. I can't remember, Anna. It's been such a long time, I can't remember. <laughs> but you must know who's been like bad. I can't, who's... honestly, I can't remember. But you must know someone who walked away and thought that wasn't very good. Yeah, probably. You can't say you can't say that, Anna. No, I can't remember. I honestly can't remember. I can't remember. I think you need to bleep a lot out. You're going to be bleeping a lot, Anna. What's the most you've spent in one go? Most I've spent? In one 
Go. Let's take my car out of the equation because that's a, that's a cop-out yeah. answer. Is it, it a cop-out answer? Well, well I think so because it's my car, obviously, because that's my most expensive thing that I own. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, if we're talking about items and we're not talking about, like, holidays, because I have spent money on holidays. It could include a holiday, couldn't it? Yeah. I'd say it's a, it's a tie-up between my Chanel bag. A tie-up? A tie-up. Oh, it's a tyre. My tyres that cost me 300 quid the other day, yeah. Yeah, it's a tie-up between these two things. My Chanel bag that was an extortionate price of three and a half thousand. Yeah. Or I think no it, yeah. no holidays personally cost me three and a half grand. Like it's it not. Because if like most holidays I go on, we're in a big group of people, so we split. Mm. So it would if mm. I went on my own. Mm. But then we split it, so it ends up being like four or five hundred pounds each. Yeah. I don't know, the Bahamas was pretty pricey yeah. when I went there and flights, and if I add up that whole holiday then I probably spent about six, seven grand on flights mm. and everything for Bahamas, Miami, New York, Washington. Like I went traveling, so obviously it cost me a lot of money and I did a lot of really amazing things. So it's either that or my Chanel bag. What's your biggest secret? Anna, can I have a bit of that halloumi, please, or not? Yeah. yeah. As if I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> What's your biggest secret? Hmm. Not telling you. <laughs> tell me and I'll bleep it. Don't think so. Here's where it's your not my mum. But really I'm adopted, that? I don't know. Wouldn't surprise you, would it? <laughs> that sends you over the edge, wouldn't it? <laughs> we look too alike. I know you're my mum. Mm. You actually don't have any secrets. No. What's a little secret? I'm very boring. What's a little secret? I haven't got one. I haven't got any little ones, big ones. I'm so boring. Mum, you've defo got some secrets. I haven't. Yes, you have. Mm. I've got no little secrets, no big secrets. No, nope. sorry. Sorry to disappoint there. Oh, this is a good one. I like this, what someone sent, sent in. Cool. What would you do if you saw me on a date with one of your friends? That's what someone sent in. One of my friends who's my age. Yeah. They put, actually, they put, what would you do if you saw me on a date with one of your good friends? That's what they said. Okay, so let's say you went on a date with Dev. Yeah, Dev then. Yeah. Hi, Dev. <laughs> Dev. Dev, that's what you I said. You just said hi, Dave. I did not. I said Dev. Okay, replay. Hi, Dave. I would honestly walk over to the table. What would you do? One night you were out up here with whoever you were with, Tanisha, and you walked past TGI Friday, and I was in there at table with Dev. No, I would not leave you to it. I'd just get on over. with your night. No, I think I'd say to Dev, what do you think you're doing with my mum? I think I'd, I'd save our argument for when we got home, but I think I'd just look at Dev <laughs> and go, what are you doing? Like, and if he said I want to date with your mum, I'd be like, what? I'd be like, no, date me. <laughs> what is the weirdest place? you've had sex oh, i don't know oh I mean. my god mum you've had your body count's like 30 what is the oh weirdest god. place you've had sex yeah but i don't like to talk about it like you know people watch this don't they so who do you think watches this everybody watches these Anna. yeah all your ex-lovers no i don't couldn't care about me ex-lovers i don't care about me ex-lovers Anna. i couldn't give a toss weirdest place you've had sex you've done some pretty odd things in your life you climbed up a drain pipe all right um and then broke your back oh you just like outside i guess i don't know Outside, it's the weirdest place. Yeah. Where outside? Yeah. Not in broad daylight. No, it wouldn't have been in broad daylight, but it would have been outside, I guess. If you're asking for the weirdest place, I told you, not exciting here. Right. How vanilla? Vanilla. Yeah, that's me. Vanilla. Yeah. This is quite a funny question. Someone sent in. Are you moving away because of my cleaning schedule? <laughs> that's what they said. My cleaning schedule. No, obviously not. But I guess that does play a part in it. <laughs> oh, my cleaning schedule. Well, because you <laughs> you don't let me do anything. I'll let you cook, haven't I? Understand. You've let me cook for the I'm first time. I'm letting her experiment so she gets used to cooking yeah but like i'm not allowed to clean i'm not allowed to wash it up i wouldn't say you're not allowed honey you don't ever try because you don't let me because if i did it you'd do it again okay so what's the point of me wasting my right, effort so the question is are you moving out because of my cleaning schedule and the answer is no but that's part <laughs> that's partially i guess it's not your fault it's not a cleaning schedule well i guess it is <laughs> it's not me laugh that they called it out sunday at 2 at 12 pm you walk in right. you come in with your little bucket try and insert that video if you clean in my bathroom you oh, with my um yeah no it's not <laughs> <laughs> We're going. With my, I have a cleaning caddy with about what, 20 <laughs> products in. I start on a Sunday. I start, actually, this Sunday, I started the house at six. I think it was like half a six. Mm. And I always tend to finish around four ish. I Hi, love Emma. it. I love it. It makes me happy. Can I have a chip, Anna, please? Thank yeah. You. What YouTuber do you hate the most and why? Can be one of my friends. I don't think there's anyone in particular that I can say that I hate, but I, I can't stand these false YouTubers. I can't stand it. So name one. That put on a completely different front, you know, on camera. La di da, la di da. And, you know, it's, so name one. it's just like, please. Name know. one. Why? Name and shame. No. No. Well, can you tell me? 
Oh, I was going to say. I think she's as false as they come. Oh, I was going to say her. I really, I really Actually, do. but I have facts that she's false, though. Yeah, like, I have yeah there you facts go. That there you she's go. False. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I completely agree. <laughs> That's it. Can't go you after can't me, say what that, I? No. no, you can beat that. Right. What's the most uncomfortable thing you've ever seen me do? There you go. What's made, what's made you uncomfortable? Something I've done. I know. I just said something and Munda taught me to leave it in because. But we've spoken about it before, anyway. Does it matter? But so. When I used to come home at Furnace Lane and would be there he'd call me like small fry small fry yeah, yeah. that's just a small fry is just a nickname for kids and seeing you two clean the garden yeah, but and it. lay the pavement stones i hated it made me feel so uncomfortable it's worse things that can happen well there obviously is and there's no context to that no but there's no context to that Anna. so well, there is context but there's not you, context you came that. home and you saw someone helping me with the garden which i haven't had since okay well, well that's not strictly what happened is it well, okay, yeah it wasn't just a gardener okay that made you uncomfortable no, right you're going What's the biggest lie you've ever told me? Oh, I haven't really. And lies on top of lies. You have. And about your dad? That wasn't a lie though, I didn't <laughs> tell you. I, just didn't I wasn't, tell you. okay. Did I? <laughs> that wasn't a lie though, was it? But if that was, okay, you. that wasn't even what I was thinking about, but. Oh, I know what you're thinking about. Yeah, right, well, it was that, the biggest lie, yeah, that. But you don't, do you? Because I'll tell you what, Anna, go for it, man. No? What, what you, come on, oh, come on. What are you on about? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. What was that? I don't know what you're on about. Um. Go on, go for it. Go on, go for it. Do, do it, man. Oh, was it that man? Go on, go for it. <laughs> oh, dear. This is a good one. I like this. What's You've said up. that about every question. <laughs> do you prefer me or your nan? Oh, I ain't answering that. Da -da! I'm not answering that. I'm not answering that. I know you prefer your nan. <laughs> <laughs> I know she does. She hates me. Nanny is my best friend and she has a very 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 special place in my heart yeah, because yeah. Nanny is the one person would I don't know she, she, Yeah, like she, my nana absolutely adore her. I adore you the exact same <laughs> No, you don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do mum. You're my mum. Okay. Obviously I do. We have our many ups and downs <laughs> and we've been through hell and back But okay. I don't I don't prefer you and I don't prefer Nan. I'd never ever answer that. I love no. you both the exact same but It made you uncomfortable didn't it? Okay, well who do you prefer me or Atticus? Both the same Anna. You prefer Atticus Kiss. Well, anyway, you got one more question. Is that it? Oh, you got one more. And I hate this one. Oh no! But everyone was asked. Were they? Everyone was asking this. Oh, and it's I not. Hate it so not. much. No. Oh, right. oh, I hate this question. But everyone was asking. Were they? Have you ever heard me masturbating? No. Positive. No, I haven't. Lived. No. Do we finish, Anna? That's the end of the mukbang. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up. Let us know if you want us to do it again and leave us some more uncomfortable questions down below. And other than that, I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye. Bye. Why did you go like that? <laughs>